Hi everyone, I am so very excited to be here again today and I really hope that I'm able to keep you company and keep you entertained in the next few minutes. My name is Blessing Njo and this week's major headlines really hit close to home. And the reason for that is because the first thing I'm going to be talking about has to do with the son of the mayor of Amsterdam. For those of you who follow me, who know me, who are on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, you know for sure that I have lived in Amsterdam for over a decade. So personally, Amsterdam is home. And for me to be reporting news, well, not so positive news out of Amsterdam, gives me mixed feelings but well I got to do what I got to do so here is the story the 15 year old son of the mayor of Amsterdam was caught in an armed burglary not only that but two knives and a fake gun were found on the scene and there are allegations that the mayor of Amsterdam has tried to use her position to cover the whole story up but of course the telegraph came out with it so after the news was made public the mayor came out with a public letter dear Amsterdamers this letter is unusual I have also been placed in a very unusual situation and feel compelled to write to you this morning the Telegraph announced in big letters that my 15-year-old son would have committed an armed burglary. Over the first three pages, it is reported that there would be a cover-up on top of it because this was not brought out. Reference is made to anonymous sources. It is not my habit to respond, but now that my underage son is being damaged, I think it is necessary to explain what is really going on. My son did not commit an armed burglary. My son had a forbidden fake weapon with him, which he took selfies with and was with friends messing around. They found a neglected and abandoned houseboat, which they entered. There they found old fire extinguishers that they dragged out and sprayed. Police came across the nuisance. My son ran, threw away the fake weapon in a panic and was then caught. He thereby violated the law. He should not have had the fake weapon on him and he should not have entered the abandoned boat. And for that, he will have to bear the consequences. I picked him up punished him and then talked to him endlessly. We then nervously waited for a few weeks while the interrogation took place. Investigations were done until we were informed by the lawyer that the case might take a little longer because the Amsterdam public prosecutor had transferred it to the Harlem office to avoid a reproach of favoritism or that the suggestion of a cover-up would arise. We have since been waiting for a follow-up. From the start, I was keenly aware of my responsibility as mayor of this city. Already on the evening that it happened, I told the police that my son should be treated like any Amsterdam boy. The only thing I hoped was that people would be discreet because my position makes my son vulnerable to publicity that can haunt him for years. There is no cover-up. This is a private matter. A 15-year-old boy whose data would never have been made public in comparable cases with which the police have official confidentiality and journalists would not care about throwing the data of other minor Amsterdam boys with no criminal record on the street. From today, everyone knows what he has done. Friends, family, teachers. Before a court decision was made, the Telegraph sentenced him on the front page for a crime he did not commit. I deserve to be checked every day and called to account. That is part of my office. My son is an ordinary Amsterdam boy who has indeed made a mistake that he must correct. He doesn't deserve any public punishment because he is my son. Mrs. Femke. Your son is not an ordinary Amsterdam boy. So it is just very natural that an extra attention is given to this case. You are a public figure. You hold a public office. So it is just very logical that the press is extra interested in this case. 
obviously but what i am kind of like shaky about is the fact that you as a mother your son was caught in the wrong and what i'm hearing you say consistently is that your son did not commit an offense your son did not do what he's been accused of doing oh yes he had a fake gun with him which he shouldn't have had well you admit that he shouldn't have had that gun because well it's against the law he had two knives well maybe not him because he was caught with another friend or maybe a group of other friends we are not very sure the details are still very sketchy at the moment he wasn't alone but he was on another person's property he was trespassing so that is called a burglary he was where he wasn't supposed to be he didn't have permission to be there so that is called breaking into someone else's territory and now you're coming forward saying well he was just goofing around with his friends he was just fooling around he's a 15 year old does it make it okay does it make it acceptable how about train your child that if you are bored you don't go into other people's property imagine if all 15 year olds get bored and they all break into other people's homes the fact that he's 15 years old doesn't give him the pass mark to go into territories that are not his it's not his father's property he shouldn't have been there in the first place and the fact that weapons were found on the scene also spreads a certain kind of message he was bored okay but what were they doing with knives what were they doing with a gun what is so interesting about knives and guns that you have to take selfies with i i don't really understand the logic behind that and the police arrives if you were just innocent and you were just doing your thing with your friends and just messing around we were all once 15 and i know how these things happen sometimes you know you lose your sense of reasoning and, and you get caught in the in the mood and all of that quite all right and then you start to run he was actually caught in a chase with the police and then to make matters worse he tried to get rid of the weapon he actually threw the gun away so why why the connection with okay the police is here i have to run why are you even running to start with if you're just fooling around you're just like okay but why even run okay fine maybe he panicked like she said like oh my god i shouldn't be here and now the police is here oh i'm gonna get into trouble and i don't want to get into trouble i'm just 15 and you start to run but why then dispose of why then try to dispose of the gun so you already know in your mind that all the connections when you add them up they really kind of like show that there is an ulterior motive here and like i said before i'm not here to judge but mothers we really have a lot of work to do it is not easy but when your son is caught in an act when your son does wrong the first step you take is not come out to defend him that would only give him that oomph that oh it's me against the world oh i probably didn't really do something so bad because my mom is standing right behind me she is there for me she's defending me so it really doesn't sink in you know the gravity of his offense i don't think it's really going to sink in and all these other young kids are going to be listening to you and going to be feeling like okay if the son of the mayor can do it and the mom comes out to say well he didn't do it then it probably is okay for me also to do it well, as we speak, the case has been transferred to another city to avoid accusations of favoritism. So moving on to my next news, a UK Metropolitan Police Officer is risking being fired. And the reason for that is she is currently participating in the Big Brother Nigeria reality TV show. so what actually makes this very interesting and why it actually blew out of proportion is the fact that this lady 29 year old kathy has had sex like three times on the show already 
And the worst part of it is that she didn't even get permission from her superiors before she went on the program. And now she is in the Big Brother house having a time of her life. And a lot of people are now saying, oh, that serves her right that she's going to lose her job. But guess what? This woman, before she went on that program, she very well understands the repercussions of joining the reality TV show. She knows it. I'm sure she weighed her options. She weighed her choices. And she told herself that being on a TV program would be more beneficial to her life, would be more beneficial to her future and her existence than being in the police corps. You know, like, okay, the prize money, if she gets to win the Big Brother Nigeria show, she stands a chance of winning 25 million Naira, which is about $70,000. So that is actually a whooping sum of money and actually it's what she would make in about three years as a police officer but i don't think her drive to go into the program was the money alone i think she also considered the fact that it might change her entire life she might get famous as a result of it which is actually one of the major reasons um, a lot of people join the program but you know for her to start engaging in sexual acts while on the program is kind of like tarnishing the image of um, the police force and I don't think her superiors are very happy with the situation and now they are threatening to um, sack her. I really don't think she, she cares. I don't think it bothers her. So what I would like to hear from you guys is what do you think about these two topics? Do you think the mayor could have done things differently or do you think the press has been unfair with her son i also want you to give me your take on kathy's um, participation in the big brother nigeria show and that brings me to the end of this week's trending topics until i see you again next week bye for now